Today we're gonna have a little fun installing some exhaust tips on this SQ5. Uh, let's see how much fun we can have. Hey, today we're gonna be installing an exhaust system here on a SQ5 2021. Um, it's basically a replacement from this plastic piece here and we're gonna go through the installation. It's pretty quick and straightforward. The installation should roughly take no more than 30 minutes at best, depending on your skill level. Uh, stay tuned. So in order to remove the uh, fake tips, we have to get behind the back. There's some clips that you may want to disengage just to pry this out a lot easier. Uh, the way it's done is basically you're going to get back in here and I'll try to get that light up in there so you can see better. And there's some clips in here that just need to be re, uh, re unfasten, unfasten, I'm sorry. And uh, this exhaust, fake exhaust system should come out. Um, I'll take some pictures of it and put it in the video. So I obvious, obviously I have softened up the, uh, the clips and stuff. So basically gonna get back here and it pops off that easy. So I have four clips, one, two, three, four, and some outer clips. Um, but next we have to cut out this uh, plastic area here in order to make room for the new tips. So next we're gonna cut out the um, plastic area with just a regular utility knife. Um, bring it up about so, so you don't cut yourself. And basically there's a area here that you can uh, follow to cut out. It's like cutting butter. Um, I'll try to keep my uh, shoulder out of the way so you can see as much as I can. Uh, again, this is just a novelist uh, video. As you can see, it's cutting like butter. Got that much pressure there. You can score it too without having to push right into it and make your cut line so you have a perfect line as I'm doing right now, just so then when I come back and give it the final cut, I'm where I exactly want to be. And then I'm good to go because it's gonna fall right into that ridge as it's doing now. And like I said, it's cutting like butter. Zero effort on my part to push in. As you can see on this side, Going to do the same, score it alongside that fictitious line, go back and cut, and then do it the final cut, which is basically straight down. And that's it. That's all it took to cut that out, very effortless. No need for an air saw or something very aggressive. It just cuts it real easy, just with a simple utility knife. After marking your um, location or where you're going to cut, you get a Sawzall, the walkie, or whatever equivalent to, you know, Sawzall you can get and to cut the uh, tip off. Um, like I said, I'm going to try to keep my shoulder out of the way so you can see what I'm doing. Um, check it out. It's cut, we'll see what's up. So we have made our cut. As you can see, it's a pretty straightforward cut. The only thing you have to watch out for is making sure you don't catch any of the uh, uh, shrouding up here. I was careful enough not to get any of it, as you can see. Uh, next, there is a 13 millimeter bolt up there that holds this uh, bracket up here. I think it's best to do this on the bench, to take this down and then hang it back up so then you can reinstall it when you put the new tip on. Okay, so after pulling the uh, exhaust piece, it's easiest to put it on a vise to clamp it right on that ball, nice and firm. I've already done that. And then I, what I do is I take a little bit of like some type of lubricant, in which this case is like final inspection. It's not crazy lubricant, but it gives a little lubricant. 
And bear with me, I'm gonna do this one-handed and let's see what I can pull off. But basically, just push up on it like I am without breaking that rope around it. And as you can see, it's coming right off. And you finally just take it with your hand. Voila, that's all it takes. This is a piece we need to retain. We go back to the car, reinstall it. Um, no need to show video on that, but you guys know what's up. It goes back on the car. And then, look, no damage. Okay, so right now we're gonna install the, the tip and it's gonna go right into place. So you're gonna bring it in, tilt it in a little bit, lock it up a little bit, bring it right into place. And as you can notice, it lines up perfectly to the area where it needs to rest in place. What you do is you bent that back a little bit, push it on, and it's in. Pretty much done. So we're gonna disconnect the exhaust valve on the driver's side of the rear. Uh, the way it's done is right here, there's a clip. It's hard to see, hopefully you can get it in the video. And you push back on it. There it is, you push down on it and you disconnect it. So then when we reinstall it, you can just reconnect it. We'll do that on the bench. Okay, so right now I'm gonna measure the uh, two and a half inches from the uh, muffler back. Just, uh, that's the, the reference measurement. And just draw a quick line right there like that. Follow it up with a nice long line so you can see what you're doing. Now we're gonna take the sawzall to it and okay, cut so it. So now off. I'm going to cut this. Just place the, the sawzall right firmly to your mark and go for it. Okay, so now we're gonna remove the uh, rubber uh, grommet. Basically just get a little bit of lube. I use a little uh, detail just to get it wet. Shoot it up in there. And then just take a screwdriver and pry up, pry up a little bit. As you can see, it goes, it takes a little bit of time. And help it up. Remember not to uh, bust the rope, that's very important. And then we're gonna take the exhaust valve um, module out. It is a eight millimeter nut, and there's three of them. And then we're going to reinstall this onto the new factory exhaust, or excuse me, the new accessory uh, exhaust tip and uh, go from there. So now that you've removed the module from the um, old exhaust piece that we've cut out, basically just wanna make sure the orientation on the flap is lining up with the uh, spring for the module. Uh, place it on here as so, and place these eight millimeter nuts back on the mounting area and just tighten them down to, I believe it's uh, five Newton pounds is what the uh, instructions call for. But uh, that's it. Now we're gonna install the uh, driver's side with the uh, flat module. And it's pretty straightforward, just like on the other side. We're going to take it, place it in place. And if you cut it just right, You'll never miss it. Just pull the uh, rubber piece back, push it onto the exhaust, and as you can now see, now we're going to just plug in the uh, flat module uh, cord we had disconnected earlier. Push it in, and then there's a there's a button up on top or key. You push it in, it locks it into place, and that's it. So the exhaust tips have been installed. The module has been plugged in. Now basically, you just go back and adjust it if you need to be. These are pretty pretty uh, close to where I want them to be. I'm going to adjust them and uh, bring it down and turn it on and check it out and down the road I go. Thanks for watching.